Amaranth. Amaranthus, collectively known as amaranth, is a cosmopolitan genus of annual or short-lived perennial plants. Some amaranth species are cultivated as leaf vegetables, pseudocereals, and ornamental plants. Most of the amaranthus species are summer annual weeds and are commonly referred to as pigweed. Catkin like cymes of densely packed flowers grow in summer or autumn. Approximately 60 species are recognized, with inflorescences and foliage ranging from purple, through red and green to gold. Members of this genus share many characteristics and uses with members of the closely related genus Celosia. Amaranth derives from Greek, unfading, with the Greek word for flower, factoring into the word's development as amaranth. Amaranth is an archaic variant. Amaranthus shows a wide variety of morphological diversity among and even within certain species. Although the family, Amaranthaceae, is distinctive, the genus has few distinguishing characters among the 70 species included. This complicates taxonomy and Amaranthus has generally been considered among systematists as a difficult genus. Formerly, Sauer, 1955, classified the genus into two subgenera, differentiating only between monoecious and dicious species, Acnita, L., Aileen X. K. R. Robertson and Amaranthus. Although this classification was widely accepted, further infragenaric classification was, and still is, needed to differentiate this widely diverse group. Currently, Amaranthus includes three recognized subgenera and 70 species, although species numbers are questionable due to hybridization and species concepts. Infragenaric classification focuses on inflorescence, flower characters and whether a species is monoecious slash dishes, as in the sour. 1955, suggest head classification. A modified infrageneric classification of Amaranthus was published by Mosiakin and Robertson, 1996, and includes three subgenera, Acnita, Amaranthus, and Albertia. The taxonomy is further differentiated by sections within each of the subgenera. Species include, 1 cup, 2.4 deciliters, 245 grams, of cooked amaranth grain from about 65 grams raw, provides 251 calories and is an excellent source, 20% or more of the daily value, DV, of protein, dietary fiber, and some dietary minerals. Amaranth is particularly rich in manganese, 105% DV, magnesium, 40% DV, iron, 29% DV, and selenium, 20% DV. Cooked amaranth leaves are a rich source of vitamin A, vitamin C, calcium, manganese, and folate. Amaranth does not contain gluten. Amaranth contains phytochemicals that may be anti-nutrient factors, such as polyphenols, saponins, tannins, and oxalates which are reduced in content and effect by cooking. Known to the Aztecs as, amaranth is thought to have represented up to 80% of their energy consumption before the Spanish conquest. Another important use of amaranth throughout Mesoamerica was to prepare ritual drinks and foods. To this day, amaranth grains are toasted much like popcorn and mixed with honey, molasses, or chocolate to make a treat called, meaning joy in Spanish. Diego Duran described the festivities for, the name of which means left side of the hummingbird or hummingbird left hand, real hummingbirds feed on amaranth flowers. The Aztec month of, 7th of December to 26th of December, was dedicated to. People decorated their homes and trees with paper flags, ritual races, processions, dances, songs, prayers, and finally human sacrifices were held. This was one of the more important Aztec festivals, and the people prepared for the whole month. They fasted or ate very little, a statue of the god was made out of amaranth seeds and honey, and at the end of the month, it was cut into small pieces so everybody could eat a little piece of the god. After the Spanish conquest, cultivation of amaranth was outlawed, while some of the festivities were subsumed into the Christmas celebration. Because of its importance as a symbol of indigenous culture, its palatability, ease of cooking, and a protein that is particularly well suited to human nutritional needs, interest in green amaranth, especially A. cruentus and A. hypochondriacus, revived in the 1970s. It was recovered in Mexico from wild varieties and is now commercially cultivated. It is a popular snack sold in Mexico, sometimes mixed with chocolate or puffed rice, and its use has spread to Europe and parts of North America. Amaranth and quinoa are not grasses and are called soda cereals because of their similarities to cereals in flavor and cooking. Several species are raised for amaranth grain in Asia and the Americas. 
Amaranths Ancient amaranth grains still used include the three species, Amaranthus caudatus, Amaranthus cruentus, and Amaranthus hypochondriacus. Although amaranth was cultivated on a large scale in ancient Mexico, Guatemala, and Peru, nowadays it is only cultivated on a small scale there, along with India, China, Nepal, and other tropical countries, thus, the potential exists for further cultivation in those countries, as well as in the U.S. In a 1977 article in Science, amaranth was described as the crop of the future. It has been proposed as an inexpensive native crop that could be cultivated by indigenous people in rural areas for several reasons. Amaranth species are cultivated and consumed as a leaf vegetable in many parts of the world. Four species of amaranthus are documented as cultivated vegetables in eastern Asia, Amaranthus cruentus, Amaranthus blightum, Amaranthus dubius, and Amaranthus tricolor. In Indonesia and Malaysia, leaf amaranth is called. In the Philippines, the Ilocano word for the plant is, the Tagalog word for the plant is or. In Uttar Pradesh and Bihar in India, it is called chalai and is a popular green leafy vegetable, referred to in the class of vegetable preparations called sog. It is called chua in Kumon area of Uttarakhand, where it is a popular red-green vegetable. In Karnataka in India, it is called harive. It is used to prepare curries such as huli, paya, mitchiga huli, and so on. In Kerala, it is called chira and is consumed by stir-frying the leaves with spices and red chilies to make chira thoran. In Tamil Nadu, it is called Malay Kira and is regularly consumed as a favorite dish, where the greens are steamed, and mashed, with light seasoning of salt, red chili, and cumin. It is called Kira Maziel. In Andhra Pradesh, this leaf is added in preparation of a popular dal called in, Telugu. In Maharashtra, it is called Shravani Moth and is available in both red and white color. In Orissa, it is called Kata Saga. It is used to prepare Saga Baja, in which the leaf is fried with chili and onions. In China, the leaves and stems are used as a stir-fry vegetable, or in soups. In Vietnam, it is called and is used to make soup. Two species are popular as edible vegetable in Vietnam, Amaranthus tricolor, and or, Amaranthus viridis. A traditional food plant in Africa, amaranth has the potential to improve nutrition, boost food security, foster rural development and support sustainable land care. In Bantu regions of Uganda and western Kenya, it is known as Dudo or Latoto. It is also known among the Kalenjin as a drought crop, Chepkurta. In Lingala, spoken in the Congo, it is known as Or. In Nigeria, it is a common vegetable and goes with all Nigerian starch dishes. It is known in Yoruba as a short form of, meaning make the husband fat, or, meaning we have money left over for fish. In the Caribbean, the leaves are called baji in Trinidad and Kalalu in Jamaica, and are sauteed with onions, garlic, and tomatoes, or sometimes used in a soup called pepper pot soup. In Botswana, it is referred to as morug and cooked as a staple green vegetable. In Greece, green amaranth, avaritas, is a popular dish called, or. It is boiled, then served with olive oil and lemon juice like a salad, sometimes alongside fried fish. Greeks stop harvesting the plant, which also grows wild, when it starts to bloom at the end of August. In Brazil, green amaranth was, and to a degree still is, frequently regarded as an invasive species as all other species of amaranth, except the generally imported Acaudatus cultivar, though some have traditionally appreciated it as a leaf vegetable, under the names of or, which is consumed cooked, generally accompanying the staple food, rice and beans. Making up about 5% of the total fatty acids of amaranth, squalene is extracted as a vegetable-based alternative to the more expensive shark oil for use in dietary supplements and cosmetics. The flowers of the Hopi red dye amaranth were used by the Hopi, a tribe in the western United States, as the source of a deep red dye. Also a synthetic dye was named amaranth for its similarity in color to the natural amaranth pigments known as beta lanes. This synthetic dye is also known as red number no. 2 in North America and E123 in the European Union. The genus also contains several well-known ornamental plants, such as Amaranthus caudatus, Love Lies Bleeding, a vigorous, hardy annual with dark purplish flowers crowded in handsome drooping spikes. Another Indian annual, A. hypochondriacus, Prince's Feather, has deeply veined, lance-shaped leaves, purple on the underface, and deep crimson flowers densely packed on erect spikes. Amaranths are recorded as food plants for some Lepidoptera, butterfly and moth, 
species including the nutmeg moth and various case bearer moths of the genus Coleophora, C. amaranthella, C. incorda, feeds exclusively on amaranthus, C. immortalis, feeds exclusively on amaranthus, C. linapalvella, and C. versarella, recorded on aspinosis. Amaranth weed species have an extended period of germination, rapid growth, and high rates of seed production, and have been causing problems for farmers since the mid-1990s. This is partially due to the reduction in tillage, reduction in herbicidal use and the evolution of herbicidal resistance in several species where herbicides have been applied more often. The following nine species of amaranthus are considered invasive and noxious weeds in the U.S. and Canada, A. albus, A. blitoids, A. hybridus, A. palmary, A. paulii, A. retroflexus, A. spinosus, A. tuberculatus, and A. viridus. A new herbicide resistant strain of Amaranthus polymeri has appeared. It is glyphosate resistant and so cannot be killed by herbicides using the chemical. Also, this plant can survive in tough conditions. The species Amaranthus polymeri, Palmer amaranth, causes the greatest reduction in soybean yields and is the potential to reduce yields by 17 to 68 percent in field experiments. Palmer amaranth is among the top five most troublesome weeds in the southeast of the United States and has already evolved resistances to dinitroaniline herbicides and acetolactate synthase inhibitors. This makes the proper identification of amaranthus species at the seedling stage essential for agriculturalists. Proper weed control needs to be applied before the species successfully colonizes in the crop field and causes significant yield reductions. An evolutionary lineage of around 90 species within the genus has acquired the carbon fixation pathway, which increases their photosynthetic efficiency. This probably occurred in the Miocene. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.